Thank you, Iran. We appreciate that. Our next speaker is T. Kumar from Amnesty International. T. Kumar has been an incredible supporter, as Amnesty has worldwide. And in Washington, around America, I don't know what we do without him. Thank you, and join me in welcoming T. Kumar. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. Amnesty International is extremely pleased to be here to join hands with you to send a strong message not only to the Chinese government but also to the U.S. government to treat and to protect Falun Gong practitioners in China. About 13 years ago, Amnesty International started to monitor and to advocate to protect the rights of Falun Gong practitioners. 30 years have passed since the abuses are continuing there. Today, there are tens of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners have been imprisoned in China for their non-violent peaceful activities. Falun Gong practitioners never harmed anyone. They just did their own prayers or meditation on their own. That's the question we want to ask. Chinese government, why do you want to hurt and harm people who never hurt you or hurt anyone else? We are also want to ask U.S. government and President Obama why you are silent in advocating for the release of tens of thousands of fallen gun petitioners there. In two weeks' time, Chinese leaders will be here to talk about religion, uh, the human rights with U.S. administration officials. It is the time U.S. administration officials be firm in informing the Chinese that time is up. You have to release Falun Gong petitioners as well as stop torturing them. It is extremely sad that 13 years have passed, still the killings are taking place, still the arrests are taking place, and no end, in, 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 uh, no end for the suffering of Falun Gong practitioners. We will fight, and you will fight. Let's fight together. Thank you very much for the invitation.